Let's talk about the Apple stuff because that's the top of the yes. That's okay, the to- that's the main topic of the of the show. Let's talk about that, and then we'll talk about Will's experience with the MSI claw that I gave him the other the other week. Okay, all right. Earlier this month, Apple quietly adjusted its Apple Store Apple App Store review guides, uh, adding new language spe- uh, specifically stating retro game console emulator apps can all. Op- refer to download games marking the first time the company has allowed emulators on ios hooray Hooray. it didn't take long for someone to take advantage of this new allowance igba a game boy emulator made its debut on the app store over the weekend quickly topping the free apps charts um the introductory emulators seem to play on apple uh, seem to play by Apple's new rules. As piracy is obviously illegal, the app would only run ROMs you downloaded yourself to the Files app on your iPhone. iPhone gamers rejoiced. Then Apple removed the emulator from its marketplace just days after it launched, iPhone gamers mourned. Uh, while we still don't know exactly why Apple took away IGBA, there seems to be a likely explanation, and it has nothing to do with pirated games. Developer uh, Riley Te- uh, Testute took two threads on Sunday to highlight the fact that IGBA appears to be a knockoff of their own emulator, GBA for iOS. We're getting news from threads now? Yeah, man. It's the first time I've seen threads thread, mentioned in threads the article. Threads is the hottest new social media app from the people over at Facebook. Uh, despite Testute uh, not giving permission to use his code, somehow IGBA managed to pass through Apple's strict app reviews process to land on the app store itself. Uh, Testute uh, has been trying to launch their alternative app store, Alt Store, in the European Union for over a month and plans to oh. uh, plans on publishing Delta, a revised version of GBA for iOS, once that happens. Uh, with all this up in the air, Testute uh, says he's particularly frustrated Apple was so quick to approve a ripoff of his app. Um, that said, it seems Apple took Testute's claim seriously. Uh, this writer assumes the company launched an investigation once Apple confirmed uh igba was indeed uh from stolen code made from stolen code it promptly removed it from the app store the process seems to have followed what is outlined in the company's app review guidelines uh make sure your app only includes content that you created or that you have license to use your app may be removed if you've stepped over the line and used content without permission of course this also means someone else's app may be removed if they've borrowed from your work uh there is a lot to uh, there's a lot to be learned from this experience. First, don't steal. It's wrong, and Apple will boot you from the App Store for doing so, no matter how successful you are. Second, and more pertinent to most of us, uh, is to not download the first emulator that hits the iOS App Store. Uh, Tetsuit says IGBA was rife with ads and tracking, which means those happy retro gamers playing Pokemon on their iPhones this weekend likely had their privacy breached. There's no evidence IGBA was malicious, but it's easy to imagine other emu- uh, emulator apps sneaking onto the App Store with bad intentions. Uh, while you can't download IGBA going forward, it doesn't disappear from your iPhone if you already have it. While you can continue to use it, given the situation, it is recommended that you just delete it. Uh, while this change in Apple's policy is positive, it's important to take a breath. Um, it's more than likely Apple is going to be even more stringent with its emulator with its emulation reviews going forward, but it might be best to wait until an emulator has been further vetted before diving into your favorite retro games. Yeah, so I heard the news that it got put up in the morning, and then in, by the afternoon it was... Uh, people were warning about it because yeah. it was immediately uh, evident that it had... A lot of ads, so it seems like uh, people were like the 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 developer was just trying to make a quick buck, right? Also, uh, and more concerningly, it requested your location at all times, which is uh, really bizarre. Not needed for a retro game emulator. That must be some sort of uh, advertising yeah. thing. They must oh, have absolutely. made some yeah. money from from selling location data mm. or something. I didn't try it because I wanted to wait until there were a couple. Like, right. I didn't want to just get the first one because there's n- there's no chance that one that nobody's ever heard of before is going to be the good one. Yeah. No. Yeah. There, you know that they're all oh, the first ones to market are going to be yeah. a problem. Uh, but had I seen the location data, like it'll ask, it'll say this app yeah. wants to use a location. I don't know that I would. 
I don't know that a red flag would come up to me because I just everything wants that. Yeah, I know. Me, so I so, just always just go for it. Yeah. I like on Android, it'll say this is what the app wants from you. Yeah. And you can pick and choose what you don't want the app right. to have. So that's something. I don't know why Apple doesn't have that. Well, Apple lists it in the app store itself. Mm -hmm. Like they expect you to like take the time to like read the app store list. But on on the app store, it's all or nothing. Yeah. You either get the app and and submit to all of the things that the app wants from you, or you don't get the app at all. And on yeah. Android, you can say, I want the app, but it doesn't get to look at my location. Right. So that's awesome. I, I guess maybe that would like limit some features, but who gives a shit? Yeah. Like, let me limit my features. Um, anyway, I would still recommend holding off on getting any emulation, uh, 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 any emulators off of the App Store until they're vetted and other people try them. And again, there are only like a handful of emulators uh, that are out that people use there's like only a handful yeah, of like I the gonna, best emulators i was gonna say like we live in a time where like people know what emulators to get you know retroarch uh emu deck like there are well-known reputable emulators yeah. out there it wasn't like you know back in the day where you just get anything and like hope it worked yeah. so like just sit back and wait for like the emulators that you already know to show up on ios yeah that's what i'm saying yeah. I, I mean it's possible that some of these ones that we already know won't make it over there and someone will do a fork of it, but yeah. we need to make sure that those are vetted. Let people like like me or Retro Game Core yeah. or somebody uh, try a couple of them out before you download them. Yeah. Uh, don't don't jump the gun because you're going to end up uh, with some shitty software. Um, what else? So it this one used the Files app to get stuff. It just... That's fine. I mean, I mean, yeah, that's how it, it's. That's how you're gonna have to get this stuff running anyway. Well, I was. I'm hoping for some sort of uh, Dropbox or Google Drive integration yeah. or something. But uh, in this case, they're just Game Boy games, so it's just, they're not that big anyway. Yeah. So it's it's not a big deal. Um, there's so there's a there's a lot there's a lot to talk about with the emulators on iOS. Um, we could also talk about how the second uh emulator yeah. came to ios <laughs> today yeah this was this was this was dropped in our lap today and then it was immediately removed so there's an app called uh bimmy this is from nine to five mac uh, -huh. uh bimmy nes emulator is the latest game emulation app for iphone ipad and mac update developer decided to pull it <laughs> so there's an nes emulator right and they decided you know what we're done we're not doing it so uh, I don't need to go on about this emulator too much. Uh, I didn't try it. Um, but from the developer's mouth himself, he said, I'm so sorry, everyone. I removed the app out of fear. No one reached out to me uh, pressuring me to remove it, but I'd rather not have the risk. Okay. That's sad to see. Yeah. I think everybody's immediate reaction when they see one of these uh, emulators being removed is, oh, no. Are they actually not going to be allowed? Yeah. On? Because we were just talking last week about how great this is that all of these apps are going to be allowed on mm -hmm. iOS. Um, and no, that's not the case. It yeah. looks like uh, they're just some of them. Well, one of them was malicious and another one, the guy got cold feet. Yeah. Uh, but Which, that doesn't mean it wasn't malicious. Maybe he got cold feet because it was, it was malicious. Well, maybe, yeah. I mean, or maybe he didn't know like the full story of the first one. So he got he pulled it because he got That's scared true. that like you know Apple's you know just doing a sweeping ban on emulators. Also, he doesn't want to be like the the first one. The, right. He doesn't want to be the one right. that get, yeah. that ruins it for everybody. Yeah. Um. And I tweeted. I said, "Hey, when are we gonna get a fucking emulator that doesn't get yeah. isn't trying to be malicious or gets removed immediately? Like what the hell?" Yeah. And a lot of people said, "I'll do it if you just pay the fee." Apparently, there's a fee to like yeah. upload the, the app because you can upload an emulator for a price. Like, you can charge money. Right. And that, that's how it is on Android. Some of yeah. them are like five bucks or something. Um, but nobody wants to do that because they're afraid that's going to be profiting off of somebody else's IP. So yeah. uh, they want it to be free. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, it costs money to put it on the App Store at all. Right. So. Now, a lot of, pretty much all emulators are uh, forks of, like, 
old open source stuff. They're all like yeah. copies of each other, you know? Uh huh. So that's why I thought it was a little interesting when uh, IGBA got taken down for being a ripoff of another emulator. Well, I know, like. Because I was like, isn't that what they all are? <laughs> There's like certain like rules when it comes to like open source software. Like you can't just it's open source, yes, but you can't just take it and make your own thing of it. Like you, there's certain like guidelines you have to follow. Well, I think in this case the start to finish entire app was just a copy and paste. Right. Like there's different like front ends and overlays and yeah. stuff that you put on top of the emulator that everybody else uses, yeah. you know. Um cuz it is just it's all borrowed code from Yeah even from the Game Boy Advance, you know? <laughs> like, yeah. So that's why people responded to me on Twitter and said, I'll do it because you can just fork yeah. the, the open source stuff that's already available and just put it out there. But again, it costs money, so yeah. nobody wants to do it. Uh, but that doesn't mean we won't see them anytime soon. Like uh, These just so happened to be the first ones that got approved uh -huh. for whatever reason. So even in the first article that we read, uh, the the guy who made the emulator, or the the actual emulator in the first place, what's his name? To to someone with T, yeah. Tess Toot. He said he submitted his. So his is submitted, right. but the knockoff got uh, approved first. Yeah. So hopefully his will be there eventually. I'm hoping for RetroArc. Yeah, any, I mean that that'll. Point. That's got to come at some point. I don't, that's on everything. I yeah. can't imagine that not making it over to, to iOS. They might already have an iOS version like for a jailbreak and for a jailbroken iPhone. It's probably just on the alt to, store. Yeah. I'm, I'm actually going to look right now because they have, look, they have Windows. They got Linux, Haiku, whatever that is. Raspberry Pi, Android. Oh, that's all right. that. oh there it is. There, yeah. Oh, no, Mac OS. Well, go Mac up. OS. iOS right here. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. So they just need to put that on the... I'm sure they submitted it. Yeah. I mean, if it works, you know, on a side-loaded thing, it'll, it, it, it should work immediately. Yeah. Um, so that'll be good for everything, you know, that's not 3D. Maybe you'll be fine with doing something like N64 yeah. and PlayStation or whatever, but... I'm waiting for Moopin. I'm waiting for uh, Melon DS. Uh... Even if I want to do Game Boy Advance, I'm waiting for MGBA or GPSB, you know, stuff mm -hmm. like that. I'm waiting for the ones that I've heard of before. Uh, or for somebody to come out and say, hey, this one's actually good. Yeah. Uh, this new one that we were just hearing about. So uh, it's coming. They're all coming. Just you got to you got to sit for a minute. Dolphin. Yeah. Everybody wants Dolphin. Yeah. Dolphin, I'd imagine, was submitted because that is on the alt store. Yeah. Um, so that's already running on, on iOS. So I'd wait another like two three weeks before we get like actual stuff going on ios mm -hmm. when are third party stores coming to the eu says sir griffith i i don't know I, they have to get approved don't yeah they? so um yeah they, i mean they could just not approve any of them ever mm -hmm. <laughs> problem with emulation on ios is the lack of <coughs> shit JIT for emulators like Dolphin and Dreamcast. What is JIT? No Dolphin until we get JIT. Uh, just in time inventory system? No. <laughs> Finally, me and three people can play Melee on GameCube controllers on my tiny ass screen and smell <laughs> each other's breath. <laughs> Live code execution. Just in time emulation. Oh, there you go. I got it. Google was right. <laughs> Uh, well, uh, I, I I don't know what that. I'm not I'm not well versed. Emulates the architecture, and without it, Dolphin won't work basically at all. Okay. Does it work on uh, the alt store? Because I played it and it was fine. Yeah. I, I played it on the alt store before. Um. All right. Well, anyway. We had just before iOS 17. On AltStore, you need to enable it with a computer in the back end. 
it can work, but Apple won't allow it. All emulation, but allow emulation, but not allowing JIT kind of sucks. All right. Well, I need to. We're going to cross that bridge eventually because right. there will be like, you know, these emulators that uh, are once we get to like 3D emulation, like N64 and, and GameCube and stuff. Um, things will probably run a lot worse yeah. unless they enable something. Anyway, 